I'm going to show you a lovely recipe using haddock and haddock is plentiful and when I go around the coast and I meet the most wonderful fishermen I always ask them what fish do you really enjoy what's your favorite fish the majority of them say haddock which is interesting so this is what the full haddock looks like so you go to your local fishmonger they'll fillet it they'll pin bone it so that's a fillet there and you see the line through it there and the kind of like little thumb print so it's a lovely soft delicate uh, fish so it is and it's so versatile it's plentiful it's sustainable it ticks all the boxes we're going to just literally pan fry this but what i am going to do i'm going to show you a lovely pasta recipe using some orzo and i'm going to put in some of this natural smoked haddock we get this from a lady she's a producer in cork in west cork and sally barnes and she, it's all uh, wild haddock that she uses she brines it she cold smokes it and it's delicious so i'll just move this out of the way we uh, br bring it to room temperature just before you fry it. We just want to um, literally cook it in a little bit of oil and rapeseed oil and butter. That's it. And I'm going to cook my pasta now and I want to show you this pasta. So this is some orzo pasta. So it's in the shape of rice, but it's actually pasta and it's a lovely one and the twins love this. So you can do this with any kind of pasta, small little variety of pasta if you want to. Now I'm going to put in some salt into the water and I'm using a big saucepan for this and I'll explain why in a moment. And I'm using this lovely turmeric here. So this is some organic turmeric. It's from a company in Athlone called Oko. So all their spices are lovely and delicious and organic. So I'm going to put in a heaped teaspoonful. This is going to flavor and color the orzo. And then we're going to pop in the orzo. So plenty of boiling water. So you want a nice kind of like bring it to the boil, use the whisk. And we're literally going to bring this to the boil. And we're going to let this cook. And this pasta is really quick at cooking. It'll cook roughly in about maybe six to eight minutes, thereabouts. You want to cook it until it's al dente. So what you could do with the lovely smoked haddock, which we're going to use now very shortly, is you could put that into a risotto. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to put the lid on that. I'm going to heat my small little skillet pan. And I'm using another lovely Irish product. And this is some rapeseed oil. So I'm trying to use as much Irish produce as possible. For me, you know, rapeseed oil, you get a high smoke temperature and you get a lovely flavor. And it's great now that we can produce our own oil. So let that cook away the pasta. We'll pan fry the fish literally at the last minute. But what I'm gonna to start to do is just for my orzo, I'm gonna start just softening a little bit of red pepper. So this is one small red pepper, or you can use half a large one. Just remove the seeds and I've literally just cut that into small, tiny little dice. So that's what you call a broom was. And we're just going to soften, warm up some butter, a little bit of oil, and we're going to literally just gently just kind of soften this. So we are. This is going to go into the lovely orzo. So I'm a big fan of um, peppers. You can use the roasted one. This is just a regular fresh pepper. Just dice it nice and small. So when you're cooking, I'm going to be doing the same technique for cooking the fish, the oil and the butter. The oil stops the butter from burning. So we'll pop that into the pan. You want to hear that sizzle? And we're just going to let this just soften here. I'm not going to look for color. That's not what I want. I'm going to go back to my pasta, if you don't mind. I'm going to lift the lid off and I'm just going to get my whisk. This pasta has a habit of sticking to the bottom of the pan. So remember the turmeric. You could use saffron, but it's probably 10 times the price. So the turmeric works really well. It gives a lovely color. This is actually lovely with some crab, if you want to use some crab in the orzo too. So I'm going to soften this off here just for a moment, and you can see how fine I've diced it. And the proper name for this is a small, tiny little broom was. So red pepper, I like this, so I do, and it's going to give lovely colour. You could use sun-dried tomatoes. So let's talk about our haddock here. So we're cooking it um, with the skin on. We're going to literally just pan fry this in a few minutes with some oil and butter. And then what we're going to do is serve it with the orzo. So every so often, I'm just looking over here at the pot. I may as well keep the lid off and let that boil away there. And it doesn't take long to cook it. The orzo can be a lovely recipe on its own. So I'm trying to showcase the natural smoked haddock and then your regular haddock. And when it's a natural smoked haddock, there's no dye put into it. It's absolutely delicious and it's cold smoked. So it's just, it's not fully cooked, but it's not raw either at the same time. So I'm gonna put that in very, very shortly. Now I'm gonna heat my pan for the fish just low. Uh, into the pan we're going to put, and into the peppers we're going to put some cream. You can use some mascarpone cheese, you can use some creme fraiche. So I'm just going to literally cover the base of the pan with that and we're going to stir this in. And then into that 
we're going to put some lemon zest or you can use lime i have both there it's up to you i think all these flavors work really well with the haddock and then what i'm going to do just turn down the griddle pan and i'm just going to grate the zest of the lemon just into the pan here so this is going to be lovely and fresh the lemon zest and then we'll put some lovely fresh herbs into this and then just at the last minute just stir in the natural smoked haddock so i want to keep the texture of it so we serve um, the haddock in the restaurant, the natural smoked haddock from Sally Barnes in a lovely risotto with a crispy quail egg and a curry foam and it's really popular so it is. So it's, it's one of my favourites. When you get a lovely kind of natural smoked haddock, it is delicious. Even if you're serving it for breakfast, if you poach it with milk, a poached egg, a little hash brown, my God, you're in heaven so you are. So let's have a little look at the pasta. I'm just whisking it here, just with the large whisk. Just going right to the edge and that's what we call a balloon whisk simple as okay pan is on a little bit of rapeseed oil and then a tiny little bit of butter so what i always like to do i'll just get a little bit of kitchen paper here when i'm cooking fish with skin on i always just like to get a little bit of kitchen paper and just do that so just literally you're just kind of drying off any moisture kind of like any wetness that comes from the fish so we're going to literally pan fry this in a moment I'm going to melt the butter so if you look here now we have our peppers in here the lemon zest so we're just going to let that just gently just cook away for a few minutes reduce that and then we'll finish it with some lovely fresh herbs now i'm going to get my lemon ready just a small amount of lemon is going to go in there just remove any seeds that's there and then for the orzo what i'm going to put is some lovely flat leaf parsley so this is it here we're going to chop this so uh, lovely it's delicate it's not too strong and um, we're going to use some lovely fresh basil okay so back on to our fish we're going to literally put the the skin side down on a good non-stick pan and then we're going to season it so i have the pan on low a little bit of salt that's all you need so just let that cook away i'll move that out of the way and just have my plate here now into the skillet pan for the oars or for the pasta we're going to put in that lovely dice so i've just literally cubed it and i forgot to say that the natural smoked haddock and this here is pin boned this the smoked haddock has no skin on it that's been removed whereas this i love the skin if you get a little bit crispy it's so delicious so if you look very very careful here just it's a very very delicate fish so just be careful just near the edge there you want to get it nice and kind of a uh, crispy and golden brown and that's exactly what i'm looking for now i'm going to put a wee bit more cream just in here so into this we're going to put in some lovely herbs fresh basil and flat leaf parsley so a little bit of fresh basil this is a small little plant i'm just looking at my fish every so often and because it's not a huge thick piece of haddock remember it's a wild fish you can get big fillets small fillets you know it's just a lovely delicate it's not a strong fish and again it's plentiful it's sustainable and we're a, we're an island in ireland we should be eating more fish in my opinion so i'm going to chop this very very carefully roll up the fingers and then what i'm going to do i'm going to show you how to chop it a little bit finer so just rock it over and back so that's what we have there now before i just add in the herbs let's have a little look at the fish okay so just using my fish slice okay just lift it very carefully over now and just let that cook away there so it's going to cook really really quick Literally, you squeeze the lemon juice, and don't worry if it catches at all. That always happens, so it does. A little squeeze of lemon juice on this. Turn it off, and that's gonna continue to cook. So it's a small little, kind of like a very thin fillet of haddock. Now I'm gonna strain my orzo, so that should be done. And I just wanna show you the color of it. So say if you wanted this, you know, cold in a salad, what you could do, I'll just switch this off you could uh, rinse some cold water through it but i need to serve it straight away so i'm going to pop it straight in there so what the cold water does it removes any of the 
kind of like starch that comes out of the pasta. So let's have a little look in here. We have the natural smoked haddock, the roasted red pepper, or the regular pepper, you can use roasted. We're gonna put in our lovely herbs, so the basil and the flat leaf parsley. I've already salt in the water, so I don't think you'll need any more salt. Stir this through. In goes the orzo. Just scrape it all out. And then just stir this through here. So look at the color the turmeric gives it. So this dish on its own, it's kind of showcasing two beautiful ways of cooking and serving the wonderful haddock. But this on its own like that is gorgeous, so it is. So if you look at the lovely color, it's keeping its shape. And then we're gonna be ready to serve up. I'm gonna switch that off. Lemon, I've lemon on the fish, and even in a bowl, like the, the twins just adore this. The turmeric, it's not overpowering, it's not too strong. Just spread this out here. You don't even need a sauce with this. And then what we're gonna do is just get my fish slice over here. The haddock, okay. So it's very, very delicate, soft. Just be careful of lifting it. Now nah, that's it. And then we're gonna put a little bit more orzo into that. Just build it up, perfect. And if you want to, a little bit of flat leaf parsley, just a couple of little sprigs, just to the side, lovely freshness, and then a little bit of lemon. So just a small little piece of lemon just to the side there. And there we go, actually I'll take the top of that. And that is a quick and delicious recipe using one of my favorite fish and that's the haddock. So that's our pan fried haddock and with that lovely smoked haddock orzo, red pepper and some lovely fresh herbs. So I hope you try this recipe and happy cooking and enjoy it, thank you.